Good morning, my lovely YouTube subscribers, followers, and viewers. Well, it's time. We have had a builder do as a plan for building three little houses out the back, a swimming pool, a gym, and a pump room. So the first thing we're going to do is, and I will spin you around and just explain what's happening today. So, we need to get the top of this wall filled in. We were going to have it bricked and rendered. But after having the toilet done and going through the rainy season, the bricks and the mortar and the, the render on this wall, all the staining came through the paint and I've just had to give it two or three coats of white paint again to cover up all the brown staining. So we're not bricking it and rendering it because I don't want this happening with this wall. The bottom part of the wall, this concrete here, I'm going to need to get this jet washed, get all this black off it, get it painted the same colour as the front. But this concrete, nothing, the water doesn't come through it, so when you paint it, there's no staining comes through whatsoever. So we are just having it concreted blocked on the top, the same as the bottom half. So it's just going to come up to this the level of the tops of the posts here all the way around. Now, the, the crane is coming in down this little bit of land here, along with the pool, and they'll still be able to lift it over the wall, for God's sake. They can actually lift it over the house if they really wanted to, if they bring a big, big crane. So this wall's getting done. The guy's starting it today. He will be around very shortly. Now, they're not mixing concrete up. It's the same guy that actually built the bottom half of the wall, and they did it all hand mixing the concrete. They made the posts on site, installed the posts, hand mixed the concrete for pouring into the walls. They're not doing that. They are just going to get a concrete truck in. Now, he's only charging 1,500 1, baht per section, which is not bad at all. And I believe he can do eight sections a day. So it's only going to take him about four days to do the whole lot. Maybe even three days. So I will uh, be back very shortly, guys, when the guy's here. And they start putting up the forms for the top of this wall. And officially, this is the start of the resort getting built. We had a little bit communication problems with the guy that's building the resort he wants to build everything uh matching and i want it all matching as well and the guys that are fitting the pool we need them to install the pipe work before the guy that's building the resort builds the floor for the pump room so the guy that's building the resort is coming around and he's going to start on the the i think it's the 9th of november and he's going to put all the footings in for the concrete base for the little sort of houses, rooms we're having built. So there's three going along here. There's one standalone. There's two down there, down there that will be joined together with a double wall and doors in between them so you can turn them into a family room. Gym's going there and pump room's going across there. And they're all going to match. So he's going to get started. So the guys are coming on the 27th to fit the pool and hopefully by that time this guy has got sort of all the the footings in for the foundations along here and along the back wall and then when the guys come to do the pool they'll install all the pipework put it up through what is going to be the floor and then the guy that's building the resort will start laying the floor so that it gives it three or four days to dry the guys will install the pool fill the pool fit the pump and everything, the filters, the water storage tank or the overflow tank, whatever you want to call it. And everything will match. Now this toilet's not going to match, but I dare say we can paint it colours to match. So, I will bring you back shortly when this guy's here to start the wall. And in three days time, this, from this empty one here, 
right round and up to this one at the side of the the kitchen here because there's ones at the, the back of the kitchen there he can't do because he physically can't get behind the wall you can't get to this side of the wall behind the kitchen so it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 23 sections so bear with me i will be back shortly so these posts were not prepped for having the tops concreted so they are having to go round them and drill them all so that they can get the rebar through they're also drilling the bottom ones or the tops of the bottom ones to put rebar for sort of supports in so the guy is now going round the wall he'll just carry on going round the wall i would think today while the rest of the guys rebar and build the top half here so rebars here first job straight straighten that out and rebar framework going in for the wall and here we have the first concrete delivery of the resort so we're actually underway they've got all these forms up they can do eight panels a day so it's only going to take them three days four days because they'll come, have to come back on day four and remove the last lot of panels but yeah this is going to be quite quick so i believe they're just going to be bucket in this concrete into these forms they have got a big vibrating i don't know what you would call it a large vibrator that will go inside the forms and help the concrete all flow down so here we go Okay, so day one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that is the last one getting done now. Well, good morning. It's the morning of day two, and the first panel is about to be revealed. Now, this is not going to be completely set. It's still going to be, I believe, what they call in the trade green. Although it doesn't actually look green, I think it's just the term given to concrete that's not completely set. So you're going to see the first panel coming off. You're going to see the last panel coming off uh, after probably... It, well, that'll be on day four. You're not going to see any more of the wall build. A wall's a wall at the end of the day. So I'll be back in a sec when this panel's ready to come off. Yeah, just so you know, that noise you hear, it's the guy down the far end putting the holes in the wall for the rebar because these panels will all just get taken off and transferred down and once they've rebarred that, we've got another eight along there which will take us to the second last panel Well, technical issues this morning. So it's now the end of day two and they've stripped these panels off and they've actually tidied everything up. It'll look good with a, a lick of paint. So incidentally, let me know what this video is like. Just this little clip here, 
uh, of the end of day two. Leave a wee comment down below. I have just bought myself a, a DJI Action 5. And this is what I'm using now. Now, I've not got a mic for it yet. But I'm using the onboard mic and apparently it's pretty good. So anyway, yeah, the other eight have done... Oh, sorry. There's been three done here. They've left a gap. The reason there's a gap there is because they need to dismantle that one at the end because they can't get sheets on going at sort of 90 degree right angles so they need to do that one and leave that one and then do that one tomorrow so the whole back has been done bar that one so tomorrow now I'm going to turn this camera into the sun and let's see how it works so we've got one two three four five six there and that one across in the corner there which is seven left to do but yeah it's not really the way I wanted to do it, I wanted to just brick it up, because bricking it up it looks a lot neater, bricked and rendered. However, if I have the same issues I've had with the toilet, the staining's just coming straight through the render. And I've had to repaint. The concrete, nothing comes through it, you paint it and it just stays perfect. Okay, that being said, that's the end of day two. And next time you see me, or hear me, these panels will be off and the panels will be up on the, the wall across there. Well, good afternoon. Day three and we have total privacy for when the pool and the little rooms are built. So that's it for day three. They will be back tomorrow to take these forms off and just render the joint where the two walls meet making it look a little bit tidier and uh, yeah someone's got to paint that soon I think that's going to be a family day out right I'll see you when these have been taken off and the wall is complete well how am I looking I'm still using my action 5 from DJI and I've been watching some videos on it, it's uh, pretty good. I've ordered myself a DJI mic too. Just a standalone one. You don't have to buy the whole kit for this. You can buy a single mic with no, tr no, no receiver or anything. It connects directly to this action cam. Now you might be asking yourself, why has why he bought an action cam? Well, I'm going to buy a canoe. And my mate John's going to come up and he's going to buy himself a canoe. And we are going to start canoeing the Mekong. Now we have to be very careful because the Lao border actually at certain points, believe it or not, comes across land on the riverbank on the Thai side. So technically you're actually out of, out of Thailand when you're, when you're canoeing at some points. We're going to start off, and John doesn't know this yet, but we're going to start off doing a, a canoe from Nakhon Phnom back to the house here which is about 25 miles. It's probably a good start and it'll be a good little test for this camera. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Men and their toys, eh? Enough of that. So it's uh, the end of day four. Well, it's not the end of day four. It's about three quarters of the way through. And I'm going to spin you around. I'm going to let you see the wall. The wall's completed. Uh, the, the panels I've done at the side have not gone sort of white yet, they're not dried off, but it's dry and not bad and well the next job I'm not looking forward to because, hang on I will spin you around, I need to jet wash all the black muck off this wall in this area before, before I paint it, it is covered in gecko shit so I'm actually just going to jet wash the whole, the whole fence, uh, the bottom areas of this wall as well. I'm going to jet wash. But, as you will see, we are now private. With a two meter wall all the way around. And that's pretty much it until the 9th of November when the guy comes and starts building the resort but what we're actually going to do first is this this concrete pad that this 
uh, water storage tank and fil filtration system sitting on has sort of sank at one side so it's it's leaning over to the right a little bit and it looks terrible but we're getting the whole of this reconcreted so we're getting that pad taken away so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run water pipes right across into this corner and we're actually moving the, the, the tank and filtration system across here and we're going to use that one in the, in, in the meantime to feed the house we'll run another couple of pipes back because the water feed pipe for the house is across there so we'll we'll run the, the, the mains water across and we'll run another pipe and feed it back into the house when we move all the tank and everything now we need to dig a channel and run pipes across here anyway because we're going to buy a new system for the house and we are going to fit it in this little corner here just to the right hand side of that door that goes under the house it'll be in the shade and we're going to put a little roof over it maybe build a, a little room there for it so that'll probably be one of the first things that's that's done after obviously the foundations for the the row of houses here have been put in because we need the concrete base here for this this water system to go in and we'll have two water filtration and pump systems one for the, the three little houses and probably uh, taps dotted around the place for jet washing I don't think we're going to need water in the gym or the pump room So that's it for this video, I will pop this out and it's just really a little teaser just to, uh, just to let you know what's, uh, what's going to be happening at the beginning, well sort of start of the second week of next month. We will be fully documenting it and putting everything up, showing you the, the highs and the lows, a lot of lows probably, but the same as the house. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this one guys. So if you haven't done so already guys, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, give me a little thumbs up and I will catch you very very soon. Thanks so much for watching and take care everybody, bye for now.